My name is Neil Malik. I'm from Knack Training. And today on Everyday Office, I'm going to show you how to use wiki links in a SharePoint site. So I have a SharePoint site open right now. As you can see, mine's labeled Human Resources up at the top of the screen. And in an earlier Everyday Office video, I showed you how to customize the quick launch navigation on the left hand side. Now, besides that navigational system, we can also put navigational elements right onto the home page of our site. And by doing that, we can make it faster for people to get to where they need to go, whether that's a list or a library, whether that's a page, whether that's a specific document, whatever it happens to be. So I'm going to go up to the edit button in the top right hand corner when I'm looking at this page. And if you don't have the edit button, it's because you don't have the necessary rights for it. So make sure you do have the necessary privileges on the site that you're trying to make changes on. When I click on edit, you'll notice that this is what we call a wiki page in SharePoint, meaning that I can do basically anything I want to this. For instance, I can just click in here and do something like a welcome to human resources with a little exclamation point. And you know, in the next line down, of course I can begin to type up a welcome message. Maybe I'm one of the leads in human resources. And I really want people to be able to get the most useful information from the site as quickly as possible. So what I'll do besides something like, uh, we're glad you decided to take advantage of this resource please start with and now here's where it gets a little interesting normally on a web page if i wanted to make a link that went to some other location some other web page i need to know a little bit of code or i need to highlight and then know the address i wanted to go to but in SharePoint, we have this thing called a wiki link. It's called that because we're using a wiki page and the wiki links that we use are very commonly used on wiki pages across different types of technology. And here's how simple it is. When you have a wiki, the idea is that the site knows about all the other content that's in the site. And all you have to do is begin by hitting two square brackets on your keyboard and that's the key just to the right of the p on the keyboard and when you do that it begins giving you basically a table of contents of what's happening in this site there's a home page there's a page called how to use this library and then there are a bunch of lists and there are a bunch of views well if i want people to go to a specific document i need them to get into the list of the library that has those documents in it so I'll go down here using my down arrow on the keyboard to select list and simply hit the tab key and that will load in the word list and then a colon and you can see it's giving me the very next step. What's the next thing that you would like to specify? Well, it's a list called documents. That's where my interesting documents that my coworkers need to use, those are where they're held. So when I move down to documents, I can again hit tab on my keyboard. And now immediately it's giving me a list of the documents that are in that library. And now it's really simple to go ahead and choose something like analytics document, for example, and hit tab to put in analytics document .docx. And I'm going to finish off by hitting enter on my keyboard. And when I finish off by hitting enter on my keyboard, the two square brackets go in there. And you see how this is built. A link to literally anywhere else in my SharePoint site can be made with two square brackets at the beginning, two square brackets at the end, and then some path to get to that thing. And luckily for us, SharePoint gives us this automatically. So I'm just going to hit enter to move down another line continue with my content and now when I'm happy with this I hit the save button up in the top left hand corner that gets saved and as you can see there is now a link to analytics document .docx sitting here ready for me to click on it and download the document Do you see how easy that was the document is now downloading and the link to it was incredibly easy to create